Hello, Cosmic Explorers. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the mysteries of the universe. Today, we're embarking on a journey that challenges the very foundations of our understanding of the cosmos. Have you ever heard of stars that are older than the universe itself? Yes, you heard that right. Scientists have for the first time discovered stars that appear to be born before the Big Bang. Buckle up as we explore this groundbreaking discovery and what it means for the field of astrophysics. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more cosmic content. Understanding the age of the universe is a concept that stretches the limits of our imagination. Just 90 years ago, the vastness beyond the Milky Way was unknown to us. Back then, most astronomers believed that the Milky Way housed all the stars in existence. However, in 1917, Heber Curtis observed a nova, an event marked by a sudden increase in brightness that made it appear like a new star within what was known as the Andromeda Nebula. Novas usually flare up quickly and then fade away over the course of weeks or months. This phenomenon piqued Curtis's interest, leading him to search through photographic archives where he found 11 more such events. What truly captured his curiosity was the realization that the novas in Andromeda were significantly dimmer than those in the Milky Way. From this observation, Curtis deduced that Andromeda was situated 500,000 light years away, a groundbreaking distance that suggested it was not a part of the Milky Way. This led Curtis to champion the island universe's theory, positing that the spiral nebulae, previously thought to be within our galaxy, were actually separate galaxies altogether. This idea marked a monumental leap in human understanding and the field of cosmology challenging our assumptions about the universe's structure. The notion that no stars could predate the universe itself presented a significant puzzle in cosmology, leading researchers to a seeming impasse. This deadlock was shattered in 1997 with the aid of the Hubble Space Telescope. Its observations revealed that the universe's expansion was not constant but accelerating propelled by a mysterious repulsive force known as dark energy. Incorporating dark energy into calculations of the universe's expansion history allowed astronomers to estimate its age at approximately 13.8 billion years. However, the story doesn't end there. A key cosmological parameter, the Hubble constant, which describes the universe's expansion rate, continues to be a subject of contention. Theoretical predictions based on fundamental physics and the cosmic microwave background suggest a Hubble constant of about 68 chem slash s per megaparsec. Yet, this theoretical value conflicts with measurements taken from observing stars and galaxies in our local vicinity. This discrepancy has led to a profound question. Is our current understanding of the universe's age only partially correct? In a startling development, Astronomers have identified a group of stars within the Milky Way that seem to be as old as, if not older than, the universe itself, challenging our foundational concepts of cosmic age and history. The globular cluster, MIND-2, a densely packed sphere of stars located about 27,000 light-years from Earth, is estimated to be approximately 13, 8 billion years old. This updated age assessment aligns the cluster's age closely with that of the universe, challenging previous conceptions of the universe's age and potentially setting a new boundary for it. Such a revelation aids in addressing cosmic mysteries related to the universe's evolution. The age is on the edge, as estimated by other groups, remarked astronomer Martin Ying from Dartmouth College. This finding assists in establishing a minimum age for the universe, as it's improbable for the star cluster to have formed before the universe itself. Globular clusters like M92 are composed of stars that are believed to have formed simultaneously, making it easier for astronomers to determine their ages. Stars evolve differently based on their initial mass. Larger stars consume their fuel more rapidly and have shorter lifespans, whereas smaller stars last longer. By assessing how many stars in a cluster, have moved past their main fuel burning stage, scientists can infer the cluster's formation time. Nonetheless, these age estimates often depend on certain assumptions, 
underscoring the complexities involved in pinpointing the precise ages of celestial objects. In their quest for a more precise method of determining stellar ages, Yang and his team turned to technology, using a computer to generate 20,000 synthetic stellar populations for the globular cluster Mindy 2. Each simulation represented a different potential age for the cluster. They then matched the colors and brightness of these synthetic populations against actual observations from the Hubble Space Telescope to identify the age that best aligned with the empirical data. While the age of M92 had been estimated in the past, those attempts relied on comparisons with a single synthetic star group. By evaluating thousands of synthetic populations, the researchers drastically minimized the uncertainties typically associated with the assumptions embedded in each model. This innovative approach led to a remarkable 50% reduction in the age uncertainty of the cluster. The team concluded that M92 is roughly 13, 8 billion years old, with a margin of error of about 750 million years. This estimation intriguingly matches the current best estimate for the age of the universe, which stands just over 13.8 billion years, albeit with a significantly smaller margin of error of around 24 million years. This finding suggests a potential resolution to the existing discrepancies regarding the universe's age, namely, reconsidering the age of the universe itself if the Hubble tension is taken into account. It's imperative to acknowledge our current limitations in accurately determining the universe's age. This conversation gains new momentum from a study by the University of Ottawa, which challenges the widely accepted figure of approximately 13.8 billion years, proposing instead that the universe might be as old as 26.7 billion years. This revision is underscored by evidence such as the existence of ancient stars, notably Methuselah, whose age seems to surpass the universe's supposed timeline, and the discovery of mature early galaxies through the James Webb Space Telescope. These galaxies, observed a mere 300 million years following the Big Bang, display a level of development and mass that traditionally would require billions of years of cosmic evolution, posing a profound enigma. The path to resolving this puzzle involves advancements in computing, a deeper theoretical understanding, precise measurements of cluster distances like those of 92, and the identification of primordial galaxies from the cosmos's earliest epochs. This raises a pivotal question. Is the universe older than the current estimate of 13.8 billion years? Do we require a novel paradigm to grasp the cosmos's true age and evolution? Renowned physicist Michio Kaku had previously suggested that our understanding of the universe's age might need adjustment. This proposition becomes even more pertinent if emerging evidence indicates that the universe is older than previously believed. Reflecting on Kaku's works, such as The God Equation, Physics of the Future, and The Future of Humanity, which generally align with the 13 billion year estimate, one wonders about the implications if the universe's age is indeed greater. The revelation from the James Webb Space Telescope is challenging long-held views, suggesting a significant upheaval in our understanding of the cosmos's early days. Traditionally, it's been accepted that forming a galaxy like the Milky Way with its 100 billion stars would require many billions of years. However, the James Webb Telescope has unveiled six galaxies that emerged merely half a billion years after the Big Bang, each up to 10 times the size of the Milky Way. Researchers have stumbled upon a group of stars with a chemical composition and age that defy our current understanding of the universe's timeline. These stars, located in distant galaxies, possess a unique signature that suggests they are older than the 13.8 billion years we attribute to the age of the universe. How is this possible? Let's delve into the science behind this fascinating discovery. The age of these ancient stars was determined through astrophysical models that analyzed their luminosity, temperature, and spectral lines. Typically, the age of stars is estimated by their metal content. The older the star, the less metal it contains, as metals were formed in the hearts of the first generations of stars. 
and spread throughout the universe as those stars exploded. These enigmatic stars have metallicities so low it suggests they formed before the first generation of stars, raising questions about our understanding of cosmic chronology. This discovery could have profound implications for the Big Bang Theory. If stars existed before the supposed creation of the universe, what does that say about the Big Bang itself? Are we looking at evidence of a universe that predates our own, or do we need to revise our models of the universe's early moments? This segment explores the potential impact on cosmology and theoretical physics. Not all scientists are on board with the interpretation of these findings. Some argue that the dating methods could be flawed, or that these stars are not as old as they seem, but have simply aged in unusual ways. This part of the video will discuss the debate within the scientific community, highlighting the different theories and the evidence supporting each side. The discovery of these ancient stars opens new doors for research in astrophysics. Scientists are now looking for more such stars, hoping to uncover further clues about the universe's early days and possibly even about the existence of other universes. This final segment will look at the future of cosmic exploration and the technologies that will drive it. In our quest to understand the universe, dark matter and dark energy remain two of the most enigmatic forces. These components, which make up a significant portion of the universe, could play a crucial role in explaining the existence of stars older than the universe itself. This segment explores the theories surrounding dark matter and dark energy and how they could impact the formation and aging process of these ancient stars. The discovery of these stars was made possible by cutting-edge astronomical technologies and telescopes. From the Hubble Space Telescope, to the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope, we have tools that can peer back into the early universe with unprecedented clarity. This part will delve into the technological advancements that have allowed astronomers to detect and study these ancient celestial bodies. The existence of stars older than the universe adds fuel to the fire of the multiverse theory, the idea that our universe is just one of many. Could these stars be remnants from a previous universe? Or are they evidence of parallel universes? This segment examines the multiverse theory and how these ancient stars could be key pieces of the puzzle in understanding the broader cosmos. The discovery of these stars is not just a curiosity, it could revolutionize our understanding of astrophysics and cosmology. By challenging established theories about the age of the universe and the formation of celestial bodies, these findings could lead to a new era of cosmic discovery. This part discusses the potential paradigm shifts in science prompted by these ancient stars. The formation of stars is a process that has fascinated scientists for centuries. The existence of stars older than the universe poses new questions about this process. How were these stars formed? And what conditions allowed for their creation? This segment explores the theories of star formation and how they might need to be revised in light of these discoveries. With stars seemingly predating the Big Bang, our timeline of the universe's history may need reevaluation. This part of the script will discuss how these discoveries could lead to a reimagining of the cosmic timeline, from the Big Bang to the present day, and what this means for our place in the universe. The discovery of these ancient stars also poses philosophical questions about the nature of existence and our understanding of time and space. This segment will touch upon the philosophical implications of these findings, exploring how they challenge our perceptions of reality and our place within the cosmos. As we stand on the brink of new discoveries, the future of cosmic exploration looks brighter than ever. This part will discuss the upcoming missions and research projects aimed at uncovering more about these ancient stars and what they can tell us about the universe's secrets. Amateur astronomers play a crucial role in the discovery and observation of celestial phenomena. This segment highlights how the contributions of amateur astronomers could help in the study of these ancient stars, showcasing the importance of community and collaboration in the field of astronomy. Primordial black holes, hypothetical black holes formed soon after the Big Bang, could offer insights into the conditions of the early universe and potentially explain the existence of stars older than the universe itself. 
This segment explores ongoing research efforts to detect these elusive objects and their possible connection to ancient stars, shedding light on the mysteries of the universe's infancy. Cosmic Inflation, a theory suggesting a rapid expansion of the universe moments after the Big Bang, could play a pivotal role in the formation of these ancient stars. This part delves into how cosmic inflation might have created pockets of the universe where conditions allowed for early star formation, challenging conventional timelines and offering a new perspective on cosmic evolution. The Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, is the afterglow of the Big Bang, offering a snapshot of the infant universe. This segment discusses how studying anomalies and patterns in the CMB could provide clues about regions of the universe where ancient stars formed, potentially offering a new understanding of the universe's structure and origins. Neutrinos, nearly massless particles that are abundant in the universe, could have influenced the formation of the first stars. This part explores the hypothesis that neutrinos impacted the cooling and density of early cosmic gas, facilitating the formation of stars that could predate the universe's current age estimate. Galactic archaeology involves studying the composition and movement of stars to piece together the history of the galaxy and the universe. This segment highlights how the discovery of ancient stars enriches this field offering new data points that help trace the universe's evolution and providing a more nuanced understanding of cosmic history. The interstellar medium, the gas and dust between stars, plays a crucial role in star formation. This part examines how variations in the interstellar medium's composition across different regions of the universe could lead to the formation of stars at different times, including those appearing older than the universe itself. Quantum fluctuations in the fabric of space-time might offer explanations for phenomena that defy current cosmological theories. This segment speculates on how quantum mechanics could account for the existence of ancient stars, suggesting that the very laws of physics may vary across the vast expanse of the universe. The anthropic principle suggests that our observations of the universe are influenced by the conditions necessary for the existence of observers like us. This part discusses how this principle might apply to the discovery of ancient stars, questioning whether our understanding of the universe is shaped by inherent observational biases. Cosmic rays, high-energy particles traveling through space, can affect the chemical composition and aging process of stars. This segment explores the potential impact of cosmic rays on the apparent age of stars, considering whether they could make stars appear older or younger than they actually are. The detection of gravitational waves has opened a new window into observing cosmic events. This segment explores how gravitational waves could potentially reveal the presence of ancient stars, or even earlier cosmic events, offering insights into the dynamics of the early universe and providing evidence of phenomena that precede the Big Bang. Recent theories suggest the existence of a dark fluid that permeates the universe with properties of both dark matter and dark energy. This part delves into how this hypothetical substance could influence the formation and distribution of ancient stars, potentially explaining anomalies in the cosmic timeline and offering a unified theory for dark matter and energy. Cosmic strings, theoretical defects in the fabric of space-time, could have profound effects on the formation of the early universe and the creation of ancient stars. This segment examines the concept of cosmic strings, their potential role in shaping the cosmos, and how they could lead to regions where time and space allow for the existence of primordial stars. Black holes are not just cosmic vacuums. They are also thought to encode information about the matter they absorb. This part discusses the black hole information paradox, and how studying ancient stars might provide clues to solving this puzzle, potentially revealing new aspects of quantum mechanics and the nature of information in the universe. Particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, can recreate conditions fractions of a second after the Big Bang. This segment explores how these experiments could simulate the formation of ancient stars, offering a laboratory perspective on processes that occurred billions of years ago and testing theories about the universe's origins.
Cosmic magnetism plays a crucial role in shaping the interstellar medium and influencing star formation. This part investigates the impact of magnetic fields in the early universe on the creation of ancient stars, suggesting that magnetism could be a key factor in the formation of celestial bodies that predate current cosmic timelines. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blesovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe live Q and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.